So if you're looking to get started using PowerPoint today, by the end of this video, you're going to know everything that you need to know to get started from beginning to end in PowerPoint. Let's jump in. All right, PowerPoint is part of the Microsoft Office suite, so you can get that through a subscription with the 365, or you can purchase the individual software. And it's sort of the go-to presentational software. It's incredibly robust and it's incredibly powerful to be able to create really sleek professional presentations. So after you've installed the program, it'll take you to this kind of main page. And this is what you first open up in. And just to show you a little bit of the navigation, this is the home bar here. You can start a new presentation or you can open an existing presentation. If somebody sent you one or you have one that you've already been working on. And then over here, you can have a blank presentation to start from scratch or what I like to do is they have these really great templates to kind of just get you started. So if you're brand new to this, that may be the best way to go is just start with a template and you can kind of see how everything works and kind of manipulate it around that way. For the examples of this, I'm going to start with just a blank presentation. OK, and it'll look like this. If you're familiar with any of the Microsoft Office suite softwares, this will look very familiar to you. But if not, I'm just going to walk you through. You have a couple options across the top to be able to auto save, to be able to save to your computer. Then below here, you have your menu bar here. And every time you click on one of these, it changes out this sort of ribbon below there. So on the home, you have your typical copy and paste, the views, some font options and paragraph options, some drawing. You have all those in there. Insert to be able to add items like pictures and tables and that sort of thing. Design is sort of the overall look of your presentation and on. Most of the time, you're going to spend a lot of time in the home bar. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I will start by saving. This is just a great habit to get into no matter what you're working on. All right. So we're going to do a presentation to the family about vacation spots. And what we're doing is we're just basically saving a blank presentation. And the reason for that is as we go, we can be able to auto save as it goes and saves. And we know we're not losing our work. Now, we're ready to start building our presentation, and you'll see that it already comes up with the first slide. And you can see over here on the side panel will be all of your slides that you're looking at. And over here is a preview of what the actual slide is. Now, the, the big advantage of having a presentation is that we want to add multiple slides. All right, so you go up here and you add new slide. And you can see that you can add different versions. So we have a title slide, title and content, section header, two column. And you can obviously change those or do anything different that you want. We're going to go a section header, OK? It's going to add a couple of those, right? So up here, we're going to jump in here. We're going to go vacation spots, where to relax. So it's already sort of taken an instinct of, of formatting it a, a certain way. And we're just going to highlight that. Maybe we want to change the font and we do that. Maybe we want to make it a different color. We can do that, right? Maybe we want to make this bold. So you can go through there and change all that. Then you click on the next one. Now it's a different format because this was a section header. So we want to change this and go beach vacay. All right. Fun in the sun. OK. And then we're going to go down to the next one, and we're going to go to the mountains. OK, we're just creating a couple of these slides. And we can always flush them out and do more to them later. So now we've created a couple of slides. And you can see we can go back. We can make any changes that we want as we go. Now, maybe you are in here and you want to go, actually, I want to do just a title only, right? So you can change the format even after you've done that. You know, let's say to the mountains, and we go, Gosh, that one, I just want it to be title and contents, right? And then you can see it's already giving me some su suggestions over here that we go, maybe we want it to look like that. And we go, yeah, maybe we want that to be like that. So now we're creating this already. We're making these look different. It's still all editable. It's still all changeable, right? But we've just created some design elements. Now, the other thing that's nice about this, and I'll show you in the navigation, is that down below here, you see it, there's a section that says click to add notes. 
So these are things when you're presenting the slide presentation that will show up for you, but not in the presentation. So you can go, I want to talk about New York, Chicago, right? So those are just notes to myself as I'm talking of what I'm gonna talk about. And those could be a full script, that could be just a keyword. So if you're doing a presentation for your company, you can have all those and really stay on topic, really know what you're, you're trying to, to achieve there, okay? Now let's say we wanna, we wanna talk about city first. So we just take and slide that up. And you can see now we've already changed the order of the slides, right? Beach, I wanna go last because that's probably where people are gonna pick, right? So we go city, the mountains, and then beach vacation, sort of in incrementally, right? So you can change those at any time and, and move those around just like that. You can add transitions between the slides. So it doesn't just flip through individual slides, but we can now go, let's morph into that, all right? You go here and we go, we wanna wipe into that. And you go down here and you go shape, right? Now we've added some of those and then you just click over here and you can see what that looks like. We want to preview that. Okay, so that's showing what the slides are going to do. And then within the slides, you can click on this and we can add animations. So we could take this element here and we go, let's have that just fade in, right? And let's have this, we can go wheel in, right? So now let's see that again. So we preview and it brings in the text. So you can animate things in how it's coming up in the slide, which just makes it sort of more interesting. So you can go back over here, go to your home, you add a new slide, maybe you just wanna do a blank one, and this is gonna be detail in the city. Maybe you could add some pictures, some stock images, and we'll add this movie theater here. We could add a picture in here, and maybe this is, you know, cause we're gonna talk about the city and we're gonna talk about going to see some shows. So we could add, and again, we could add an animation to this, so we could have this fly in, right? Let's preview that again, boom, so it shows up, right? So you have all these options to be able to really add a lot of flavor and a lot of fun to it. Let's say we don't want that slide, you could just right click on it and go delete slide, and it's gone. When you go to design, you can also add themes. So this applies to your whole slide deck to be able to change the theme so they're all very similar, right? So maybe we wanna add, you know, like a, a theme like this, okay? So what that is now done, as you can see, we got this little like wood plank there and each one of these is in that kind of look. It has that faded in. Now I'm looking at this going, well, that doesn't quite fit what I'm doing. So we'll change the theme to this. So now you can see you got this cool little overlay that's on there. You can have variants and you can play around with these and these, you know, you change them out very easily and it doesn't change out or harm your page. Uh, then you can go over here and you have this designer toolbar, which I think is a game changer. It really kind of helps lay things out, adding some cohesiveness to this. And it's, it's sort of intuitive to be able to add the elements that you want to add. You look over in this and I'm going, wow, I want to do it like that. So you can see that you start adding these elements in there and all of a sudden with just a few clicks, this is looking like a really professional, well done page. Now, of course, mine is a little sloppy because I'm just showing you for example, but you can see with spend a little bit of time, you can tweak this exactly how you want it to go. So now let's go, let's go to the mountains and let's go to home. Let's add a new slide. And you can see now it's adding this slide based on what we've already had been doing. So it's now fitting into that design. And I would go best part of the mountains, right? And then we can add some text and we could go outdoors, camping, stars, hiking, right? So you could do like listing out these bullet points that you want to add into there. And again, it's coming up with some suggestions over here. So we go, oh, let's do, how about this? And it already is adding these little icons to it. So you could see you've got several different options that adding in there. And all of this is just generating itself. So you can really fine tune and add a lot just with this designer toolbar that pops up over here on the side.
Now, once you kind of have everything the way that you want it, you can go up to the slideshow and you can view it. It'll show you this view here. So you can see this is the slide. This is the one that's coming next. Do you have any of the notes? You can flip through this so you can see exactly what this is going to look like. And what it's also doing is it's exporting to my second monitor or if it's on a laptop and you have it going to a projector or a video screen or something like that, the viewers are only seeing this option. So this is just your view so you know what's coming up next and you know the things that you're talking about. And you can kind of see what all this looks like and know exactly what it's like. You have a timer up here so you can see how long you've been talking and everything that, that works in there, okay? You got a couple of different views here. You can see all the slides that you have. You can make notes or have a pen so you can have a laser pointer so you can be talking and showing things on the screen that way. So you can really just kind of go through, make sure everything's in the way that you want it to be, everything's working the way you want, and you can close out of that. Now they also have Rehearse with a Coach, which is kind of a neat feature, which will allow you to get real-time feedback on how you're doing, what your pacing is like, the word choices you're using, and all of that. So that's kind of an in interesting feature if you're interested in that as well. And then you can also record it. So you can record it so if you're not presenting it live, you can go into there, okay? And it pops up a screen here. And now this is set up on two monitors. So this is one monitor that's showing me what the presentation looks like, okay? We're gonna go back to the beginning here. And you can see it's got my face in the corner here and it has my notes on the script. I hit record and I can talk through that. And every time I hit the space bar, it goes to the next slide. I can talk about the city and you can see my notes pop up here and it says I wanna talk about New York, I wanna talk about Chicago. And then on my second monitor or wherever your output is, it is showing just this view, just this section right here, all right? I hit the space bar, it transitions to the next slide. You can go through your presentation and record it. And then again, you can go to export it. You can save it to a file or you can email it to, to whoever you need to. And with that, you've created your first PowerPoint presentation and rehearsed through it, recorded it, and ready to present to an audience. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.